So riding around Bali, you see some lovely things. We're heading up to Ubud to have a look at the community up there, which is very, very heavily relying on tourism, but at the moment having a really tough time. But I'll tell you what, you see some things at the side of the road and I just hope to turn around and come back and give you a look because this is just stunning, stunning look. Check out this, this Garuda. Hello. Madi. Madi. Yeah. Hey, Madi. It's beautiful work. So my day made this himself, took about two weeks full time to uh, carve it out, design it from scratch. Amazing detail. Can you just translate? Okay, uh, one door with the two uh, windows. Ask about the story. Like, uh, what type of what is it? Jati. So I'm looking to see what sort of, what sort of tools he's using here and get a bit of an idea of how the gouges and the chisels and all that stuff. It turns out little bits of sharpened steel. Put that in context. And an axe. Check figure. this out. So fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. amazing thing about the, about the people of Bali is how happy they are just to live a very simple and humble existence. It's just, it's just amazing. It's, it's stunning and it just shows you the nature of the people. They don't need much. They just need a full tummy, mattress on the floor and, um, and a chance to, to, make work, uh, to make some money or to, to survive. And uh, my day is a typical example and this is just one of the many 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 handicrafts and, and amazing uh, carving that you'll see and Chili this one's for you because you're right these guys are probably the best carvers in the world and my day is a perfect example no big expensive equipment a little tomahawk and a couple of bits of sharpened tensile steel and that's that's what he uses to make these amazing So, if you're keen to get hold of some, uh, he's available on WhatsApp. Here's his contact details. Yeah. So, put that in context, there's my finger. So fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you.